Given the following book summary, Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell is a sprawling epic set against the backdrop of the American Civil War and Reconstruction era. Published in 1936, the novel quickly became a literary sensation and has since become one of the most beloved and enduring works of Southern literature. The story centers around Scarlett O'Hara, a headstrong and captivating Southern belle who is living in the antebellum South. Scarlett is the daughter of a wealthy plantation owner in rural Georgia and is defined by her beauty, charm, and ambition. Despite her many suitors, Scarlett is fixated on Ashley Wilkes, a handsome and honorable young man who is engaged to her cousin, Melanie Hamilton. As the Civil War breaks out, Scarlett's world is turned upside down. The war ravages the South, destroying homes and lives, and forcing Scarlett to face the harsh realities of life in a war-torn region. Her family's plantation, Tara, is at risk of being lost, and Scarlett becomes determined to do whatever it takes to save it. Her resilience and determination drive her to make difficult choices and engage in controversial actions, including marrying multiple times and participating in the black market. Meanwhile, throughout the novel, Scarlett's complex relationship with the dashing Rhett Butler unfolds. Rhett is a cynical yet charismatic blockade runner who becomes infatuated with Scarlett's beauty and spirit. Their turbulent love affair becomes one of the central arcs of the novel, as they both captivate and frustrate each other. Despite their obvious chemistry, their relationship is fraught with misunderstandings and miscommunications, and they constantly find themselves at odds with each other. Amidst the personal drama, the novel offers a detailed exploration of the social and racial dynamics of the time. It delves into the complexities of the South's reliance on slave labor, portraying the characters' views and interactions with slaves as a reflection of the prevailing attitudes of the era. Some characters, like Scarlet, exhibit a sense of entitlement, while others, such as Melanie, show compassion and empathy towards the enslaved people. As the war ends and the Reconstruction period begins, Scarlett and her surviving family members struggle with the aftermath. Their beloved South is left in ruins, and they are forced to adapt to a changing society. Scarlett, relentless in her pursuit of economic stability, becomes a successful businesswoman, ultimately gaining control over her family's former plantation, Tara. In the end, however, Scarlett's obsession with Ashley and her inability to fully acknowledge her feelings for Rhett cause her to lose the love of her life. The novel ends on a bittersweet note, with Scarlett vowing to fight to win Rhett back, stating, famously, tomorrow is another day. Gone with the Wind is a timeless tale of love, passion, and resilience, set against the backdrop of war and societal upheaval. Margaret Mitchell's richly textured writing brings to life the complexities of the southern United States during this tumultuous period in history, making it a captivating and enduring work of literature.